Welcome to the second video of week six, the chair. Now it sounds semi-torturous, but actually it's it's quite a cool piece of equipment. I wanted to build one of these at the time for for my Christmas present. So this exercise, I don't really know what it's called other than stepping up, and it's really it's really tricky. So first of all, you've got the instability of the cushion surface that you can see my right foot is on. So you see my ankles working quite hard to stabilise there. You've got a spring-loaded pedal that my left foot is on, which assists you and throws you off at the same time. So this move is all about holding your torso still with your lats, which I'm, unfortunately the angle doesn't show from the camera. Um, you've got to keep your hips in line, which is pretty much the most important part of the exercise, and contract your glutes and quad muscles to get you up. Now uh, the top part of the exercise here was just balancing on the box, moving my leg to the front, to the side and to the back. The box was wobbling a bit to make it even harder, so Amy just stabilising it there. And then you come back down and repeat on the other side. Now what's really difficult for me in this is the glute activation. This really highlights the glute weaknesses I've got. And I'm quite convinced that the glute weakness also contributes largely to my back pain. Because when the glutes aren't activated the lower back is having to take the strain of the rest of the body and what happens for me a lot in this exercise is my hips swing out like you saw in my introduction post they swing out here's Amy showing what happens here there that's what my hips do they swing out and you have to lock them in the right aligned position in order for this exercise to be effective but when you do put them in the right position it's so difficult for me to get up on the box there she's just doing it easily but for me it was an absolute okay, challenge so to, to get again. up so we try it again and then the focus is going straight up I tend to lean forwards and put the strain into my quad muscles because my quad muscles can handle it but really it should be the glutes doing most of the work and the quads are just stabilizing the leg so I couldn't do it at first here you see me really trying there's nothing there so I start to push off my left leg and that assists me just enough to get yeah. into a range of motion where my glutes can work ah, okay. right. there that makes sense. so by pushing off that left leg there I can do it, it now my hip pops out a little bit there to the side and I'm not contracting the right glute muscle strong enough but it's not it's not so bad so this exercise overall taught me that I have weak glutes that weak glutes contribute to back pain due to the movement of the hips and so I recommend that you look at the strength of your glutes if you're suffering from back pain too.